Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pete with your word for the day. So when was the last time that you felt afflicted and struck down? Maybe it was from an illness. Maybe that physical pain and difficulty just left you feeling miserable. Or maybe a conflict in a relationship has made you feel completely struck down and depleted. If you can identify with that word, afflicted, then you can identify with our psalm today, which is Psalm 129. So the psalmist wrote in verses 1 and 2, Greatly have they afflicted me from my youth. Let Israel now say, Greatly have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. Israel is an unlikely nation. It started with God's promise to an elderly, barren couple that their family would become a great nation. The nation got a slow start. That small family eventually ended up as an exiled people in Egypt. And there, while in slavery, they grew into a sizable people group whom God called out to be his people. They became his nation, Israel. While Israel was a young nation, they were enslaved in Egypt, they were afflicted, the work conditions were harsh, and their masters were so ruthless that eventually they ordered all male babies to be killed. Yet Israel's enemies did not prevail. The cycle of affliction continued through much of Israel's history, yet they were never completely destroyed. This psalm reminds the reader of God's faithfulness to Israel. God was always preserving and purifying his people. This was fully realized in Jesus Christ. When Jesus came on the scene, he showed that he was Israel's Messiah. He was the coming victor they had been waiting for. He would end all of their affliction, but he did it in a surprising way. He allowed himself to be afflicted for them and for us. He gave himself over to be struck down so that sinful people like you and me could be healed and forgiven. This blessing is humbling and it's also encouraging. Isaiah 53, 5 says, But he was pierced for our transgressions and he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was a chastisement that brought us peace and with his wounds we are healed. Isaiah's words foretold that Jesus would be the one to take the affliction of his people. His death on the cross was for our sins. It was our evil that brought affliction on Jesus. And Jesus embraced that affliction so that we could have peace with God. And it was because of his wounds that we are healed. So as you read the remainder of Psalm 129, which I hope you will do today, I hope that you are encouraged that Jesus was afflicted for you so you could receive healing and peace. I hope you are trusting in him today as your Lord and Savior. Have a blessed day, Calvary.